Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on shell programming. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to use if else and case statements in Unix programming. So let's start. In order to demonstrate to you, we have already created a few shell files. As we know the if else and the case statements, these are the decision making concepts in Unix or any other language. So that is the reason we have created a directory called decision and we have kept few of the we have created few of the files like if check, if else check, if else if check, etc. And also we have created one case check shell script. So before going to see the examples, let's have the conceptual thing about this decision making. So decision making statements available in Unix are if else statement and case and the end ESAC statement. Forms of the if else statements. Basically there are three forms available. If starts with if and ends with fi statement. Then we have if else and ends with fi statement. The, then the next kind of statement we have is if else if else if statement which is ending statement so it's like multiple else conditions these are the conditions available if if statement the expression uh, the example is here if then we have to use expression for example some variable greater than some other variable value or some scalar value then we have to use the then as a keyword and then finally the logic one which we want to execute after satisfying this condition and then we have to end with fi the spaces between braces and expression we have to make sure we are adding that no spaces produces a syntax error if expression is a shell command then it will be assumed true if it is returns zero after execution this is very important so if in that bracket the expression is a, a shell command it should return that shell command should return zero then it is considered considered as a true if it is a boolean expression then it would be true if it is written true so that means if you are using boolean condition then the result should be true then and then that condition treated as a true condition example is very straightforward we have variable one variable two and here we are checking variable equals or not if it equals then we are returning variable 1 is equal to variable 2 then we are checking variable 1 equal to 2 1 is not equal to 2 then it equals the variable is not equal to variable 2 if else if statement if then expression then we have to return the statement to be executed expression is true else condition we have to write the condition where the expression is not satisfying they again here if you see the variable 1 is checked with the variable 2 if it is correct this expression is written true then it will print the variable 1 is equal to variable 2 else instead of writing a separate if block we are writing the else block where we are returning variable 1 is not equal to variable 2 if else if statement so where the statement is look like this uh, the syntax is very simple if then regular expression then statement to be executed if expression one is true then we can write the next expression e l i f that is else if and the regular expression then then statement and then the logic one which you want to execute after expression two is correct if you have similar so many logic then you can use the else if again and then else and finally ending f statement example here here we are checking variable 1 equal to variable 2 if it is equal then we are checking variable 1 is greater than variable 2 then finally we are checking variable 1 less than variable 2 so if you notice the, every time we are using else if else if etc and then finally we are using else and then ending the if loop so these are the else condition things so let's see the our examples and uh, let's uh, try to run this so for very first uh, check like how to use the if condition we have created one variable val uh, which 
hold the the input argument for input first argument value if that value is greater than 100 then we are printing value is greater than 100 if that value is less than 100 it will not print because this will not satisfy that condition so let's try to execute this so it's if i don't pass the value so it it you will get the error the greater than unary operator expression so make sure if it is variable is expected then pass the variable for example if i pass the value it says the value is greater than 100 because it is true condition let's pass the 50 value which is less than 100 so it will not print because we have not handled that condition now let's go and check the the next example what we have prepared let me close this vi if else check so if you notice here right now we have used if else if so if value 1 is greater than 100 then it will print values greater than 100 if the value is not greater than 100 then it will go to the else loop and it will print the value is less than 100 so it's very straightforward and very simple so we have to just execute it now i'll pass suppose 400 which is greater than 100 now it is printing value value is greater than 100 and that is very first condition we have seen what we'll do i'll just make less than 180 and now it is printing value is less than 100 so the second else block is getting executed properly by checking those values so by this way we can use the else or uh, we can use the if else if condition next condition is if you have the multiple else or multiple conditions how to handle that so in order to have more than two conditions then we can use else if condition so if condition is we are checking value input value is greater than 100 if that condition is true then it will print value is greater than 100 if you have the another condition where value is greater than 50 it will go to that loop and it will print value is greater than 50 else it will print the value is less than 50 so let's try out because it has the multiple condition we'll try the multiple example so i just passing suppose 800 so it says value is greater than 100 that is true condition let me pass the different value instead of 800 i'll pass 80 now if you notice it is printing value greater than 50 so instead of comparing with 100 it is comparing with 50 and it is greater than 50 which is going into the else if the second condition and it is printing correctly now instead of 80 i'll make 8 and let's see now it says value is less than 50 so which is the last block in our condition or in our logic so it clearly indicates that it it check the very first condition then it goes to the next condition if the next condition also not satisfied it go to the third condition so it's very simple and straightforward logic so let's have a look on the next case uh, case statement the case statement is very interesting statement if you have the multiple if else blocks it will be very tedious to loop through it so if you have the case statement it will be easy to handle the much more volume or much more cases the the interpreter checks each case against the value of the expression until a match is found if nothing matches a default condition will be executed there is no maximum number of patterns but the minimum is one so we at least have the one case maximum you can have n number of cases when statements or statements part executes the command double comma indicates that the program flow should jump to the end of the entire case statement so double comma is required if you want to jump to the next statement syntax you have to use word uh, you have to use case as a keyword then the word in you have to use pattern then the you have to write logic which you want to execute at the when this condition is satisfied then double colon then pattern 2 executable statement double colon pattern 3 
executable statement and you have to write you can write n number of patterns and then executable logic and at the end you have to write ESAC so this is a example on that we are suppose we are defining one variable with value India we are checking this country in so this is India is a pattern and uh, dollar country is nothing but the word and echo India is a country this is complete statement is nothing but the executable logic then double quotes similarly we are checking US Germany and corresponding executable logic and at the end we are using ASAC that is end of case statement so so this is the command line also if you want to use command line you have to create a variable then use the dollar sign and the very uh, the parameter name you can pass that parameter and uh, you can store that parameter value into the variable and you can print that file name is this or you can use directory to directory name is to something like this so you can parameterize also this case statement so we have created on the same line one example so let's see that example so example is very simple we have created variable country which accept the input parameter value dollar one which stores in that country variable and we are checking whether this country in India this means if if someone passes the country name as India it checks its country is India then it will print India is a country then double quote then US it checks this country variable with US if it is US then it will print US if it is Germany then it will print Germany and then ESAC so let me show you how it works so suppose if I pass India it will print India is a country because that logic correspondingly executed if you pass case insensitive like instead of capital if you pass small a you will not get the result because the condition will not be fulfilled and we do not have the default case but we can define default case also I will pass US so you can see the US is a country now I will pass some value which is not present like UK is not present in our case statements and if you try to execute you will get the blank result there is one more thing uh, we can see about this is suppose I have the similar value in two cases suppose instead of US I have two values India India and let's see which value it will execute so I'll just execute with India now you can see the very first case it will check and it will ex exit because it is the loop is ended with a double comma so it will just first execute the first statement which encounter in that flow so this is the uh, the case statement analysis and the demo if you have any questions or queries about unix or if you want some specific video on unix topic or any other technology related to the unix or enterprise application development you can mention in the comment section of this video thank you again and have a nice time